However, they report that they cannot hear clearly in a noisy background, or they have this tinnitus that they didn't have before. So what's now emerging from both animal and clinical data is that indeed there are anatomical correlates of this damage, and it typically involves synapses between sensory cells and neurons, or it may even involve hair cells and neurons themselves. Um, so what is the loud noise level? That was one of your questions. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, right now we are speaking at about 60 decibel in terms of sound pressure level. And, and what does that mean? Decibel, it's a logarithmic scale because we had to compress an enormous scale that's really million fold from the softest sound to the loudest sound we can, that we can hear. We compressed it to a linear scale that looks linear, it's not, but it's a logarithmic scale. So that's what dB is. And we can hear anywhere between zero to 120 decibel and louder. We can even hear a jet engine and that's 140 decibel. And to calibrate us, if I'm now speaking at around 60 decibel, to come here, I had to take a plane. Uh, and the uh, noise in the cabin is typically around 80 decibel. If you drive a motorcycle, it's about 100 decibel. 